Sir, the lady is here again, asking to see you. You mean Melody? Yes, sir. Please tell her that I'm very busy now, she should come back later, please don't allow her to come in here. Okay, sir. Ma, he is very busy at the moment, can you please come back tomorrow? Are you talking to me? I don't have any business with you. Sir, I tried stopping her but she wouldn't listen. You can go. And what's the meaning of this, Sister Melody? Why do you have to bump into my office even when my secretary had told you that I was busy at the moment? I'm very sorry. Why are you disturbing my peace? Deacon, why are you avoiding me? Why have you not been picking my calls? Look here Sister Melody, I have told you I can't do what you are asking me to do, it is not possible. Have I not been patient enough with you? Your ways and manners still baffles me, what is wrong with you? Mr. Raffle, if you speak further to annoy me, I will be forced to do what you don't like. Are you threatening me? I am not threatening you, I am simply telling you that if you refuse to do my biddings, then be ready to face the consequences. And what do you intend to gain in breaking people's homes? I don't have the intention of breaking your home and that's why I have been patient all this while. Don't take me for granted, don't dare me. I will be expecting you tonight, unfailingly. I am out of here. Oh God. Please deliver me from this lady. Sister Melody on a phone call with Mr. Raphael's wife, Sister Felicia. They were supposed to go to the market together. Sister Felicia, I've been expecting your call, are we not going again? I'm so sorry, I've been busy since morning. So you won't be able to make it again. I would have loved to get those things today, but as it is now, I don't even know when I will leave the office. But I will manage, I will get some things on my way home for tonight. Okay, should I still keep the money? Yes, let the money be with you. I don't want to spend it on another thing. Okay, I've always told you not to bother, because I know you won't have the time. All right, thank you. My regards to your daughter. Sister Felicia, you look very tired. Yes, I came back very tired. I didn't go to the office with my car, so I had to wait for the official bus. By the way, where are you coming from? From where you sent me. So you have been to the market? Yes, since you told me you had no foodstuffs in the house, I decided to go alone. At least, if you have decided to fast, you shouldn't starve our deacon. Sister Melody, thank you so much, I am really grateful. I have told you to stop thanking me, what I am doing is nothing compared to you have done for me. I will bring soup for you you tomorrow. Wow, thank you so much, please add enough fish, we really enjoyed the one you brought last week. I'm glad you did. How is Deacon? Is he in? Yes, he is in. Let me call him for you. Don't bother. I don't want you to disturb his rest. Let me call him. I am sure he will want to say hi. Okay. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Sister Melody. Dear, you have to specially thank Sister Melody. She has gone to the market to buy all the foodstuffs. Oh, you mean you don't have to go to the market again? She bought everything. It's not necessary again. And I told her we enjoyed the delicacy she brought for us yesterday. Yes, thank you very much Sister Melody. Please excuse me, let me get something for your daughter. Deacon, I waited for you in vain yesterday, you didn't show up again. Dear, Sister Melody is waiting for you. I still don't like the idea of sending Sister Melody on errands. I have told you that she is a married woman and I am not comfortable with it. I had wanted to stop. But she won't let me, I even told her that you were not in support of it. She kept saying that's the only way she could show her appreciation to us. You said she won't let you but you always complain to her about the situation in your home. You even gave her money to go to the market for you, can't you go to the market yourself? That was my intention, but before I knew what was happening, she came in what was happening, she already came in with the stuffs. You have to stop her. I mean, we are not the only family in church, she is already becoming part of the family. But dear, why are you talking like this? We are the only one standing by this sister and her daughter ever since her husband left her. How did you know this, and besides, the church is always praying to God to restore her husband. She told me, and that is why she is close to us in this family. Whatever we do for her is unto God and on behalf of the church, so we have to point her attention to God not us. Please be careful in your dealings with her. Okay, I will do something about it. Please do it fast. Auntie Grace called. She said she would be coming tomorrow morning. 
You know I am traveling tomorrow morning too, who will take care of her? She will take care of herself, she is my sister and not a stranger. Please take care of her too. Please subscribe to this channel. The house is yours, please feel free, Felicia has prepared soup and stew. They are all in the fridge. I will take care of myself. Alright, let's go inside. Good evening, Deacon. Thank you Sister Melody, how is your daughter? She is doing fine. My wife is not around, she traveled. I know, she told me she will be back tomorrow. Mr. Raffle, I think I've been trying to play safe with you, but it seems you are taking me for granted. But Sister Melody, I'm a married man, and you are a married woman also, why are you raising this issue again and again? I don't have a husband. You do, my sister. And the prayer of everybody in church is that God restore your husband to you. And that should be your prayer too instead of allowing yourself to be used by flesh and the devil. Are you talking to me? Am I the one the devil is using or you? By the time I am done with you, you will have nothing left to he called a home. You lie, in Jesus' mighty name, my home will stand. Now get out of my house. Raphael, why are you shouting like that? Nothing auntie, I'm just trying to talk sense into this fool. Me, a fool, we shall soon see who the fool is. Yes, that's who you are, get out of my house. Out. Raffle, what is going on, why are you shouting? Auntie, please forget about that idiot, I've never seen a sister like that in my life. A sister, is she a child of God? She is a member of our church and a friend to my wife. Then you shouldn't have spoken to her like that, no matter what she has done, you need to exercise some patience. She pushed me to the wall. How? Aunt, please forget about her case. What did she do to you that calls for such confrontation? It's a personal matter and I am still praying about it. Raffle, I am your sister, flesh and blood, you better tell me what is going on right now, perhaps I can help. You know I am a woman too. Auntie, it's a long story but I will not hide anything from you. Thank you. Auntie Grace, I'm in a serious bondage, and I pray God deliver me. It happened when I began to see sudden changes in my wife's behavior. She used to be very loving, supportive, humble and ready to release herself to me. She suddenly changed and began to give excuses. But before this, I noticed an unusual closeness between her and Sister Melody. Who is this Sister Melody? Who is she? She is a fervent member of our church, in fact, she is one of the choristers, and the husband was in the church with her. But she reported a case of infidelity against her husband in church after which the church found out that the man was having an affair with a young convert. The elders invited him. And what was his response? He was very sad, he said it was the devil that pushed him into it, and that his wife was not helping matters, although we didn't fully understand what he meant until later. He was suspended as the Sunday school teacher then he got angry and left the church, abandoning his wife and their only daughter. But why is this lady behaving like this? After the incidents, I begin to see this closeness between my wife and this woman, to which I raised an objection. Dear, where are you going to? You just returned from work. I want to visit Sister Melody. Why and for what? She's been very lonely ever since her husband left her for that strange woman. Please sit down. What is it? Your relationship with this sister is getting deeper. You even brought her into this house to sleep in the visitor's room yesterday night, with her daughter. Why, this sister still has her own house and God can touch her husband's heart at any time. I am also not comfortable seeing her in our kitchen, he is a married woman and should not be treated anyhow. Sister Melody loves shopping and cooking, she willingly offered to help since she knows that I will be coming back late from work. You still have to stop it. I don't like it at all. But dear, Sister Melody is a very nice sister and you know her very well. I know, but my spirit doesn't agree with her as to be so much involved with my family. Alright, I will adjust, but I still have to go, because I have already promised her that I will see her this evening. All my efforts to stop their friendship proved abortive. They got so close that at times this woman freely sleeps in our house, she sometimes helped my wife to prepare food and do some house chores. What was your wife's response to all this? She got carried away because the presence of Sister Melody in this house made things easy for her. It got to a stage where Sister Melody does virtually everything in the house, while my wife got busy with her job. And you didn't warn her? I tried to, but I also became very relaxed. Since she is a married woman. Auntie, 
While we were all engaged in this very deep spiritual slumber, I began to sense that something was going wrong. As my wife started behaving strangely, like how she finds it difficult to release her body to me, I initially thought it was because of her busy schedule in the office, so I decided to give her some time. But later, I had to confront her. Dear what is going on? What is it? Why are you taking your body away from me? Why the complaints? Why? Because you were never like this before. And how was I before? Please stop complaining and let's go to bed. I'm tired already. You don't know what you are saying, Felicia. I am a man, where else do you want me to go? You complain always of your work. Today is weekend and you have been around since morning. It was Sister Melody that you sent to the market yet you are not ready for me. Why are you doing this to me? I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. I'm gradually losing interest. This is not ordinary. We have to pray about it, and you two must take the matter serious. Can we pray now? Yes, sure. Did she change? She became hardened and totally lost interest in me. This is serious. This attitude really affected our relationship, and we didn't chen ourselves to see what went wrong. We were so deep in our slumber. We continued patching it up until one day when my wife had an official trip from the office. Oh, Sister Melody. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. How are you? I'm fine, sir. How was your day? It was fine. You are looking tired. Yes, I'm very tired. How is your daughter? She is fine, sir. Your wife said she wouldn't be around this evening. Yes, she had to travel again. She would be back tomorrow. She said I should help you to prepare something to eat. Should I serve you now or will you take care of yourself later? You can put it on the table. Thank you very much. We are very grateful. That was all I could remember until the next morning, when I woke up and found her beside me in bed. I mean, on my matrimonial bed. What? My brother, that lady is not ordinary. You were right. When I woke up, I hated myself. I asked her what happened, but she was just smiling. She even asked if I enjoyed myself. That lady is a devil. I invited her to my office the following day, what she said nearly throw me off balance. Sister Melody, why are you behaving this way? We both sinned against God and we need to repent of our sin. Sincerely speaking, I still don't know what came over me yesterday, I called you here to apologize. Apology accepted, but I believe God has already forgiven us. How? I just helped my friend, I don't think God should be unhappy with us for doing that. Sister Melody, that is adultery, you have a husband and I have my own wife. This is a sin. Point of correction Deacon, I don't have a husband. Because I am not living with any man. And I don't think anything is bad in helping my friend to play the role she has failed to play I'm your life. What are you talking about? Mr. Raffle, I am aware of the situation you are facing at home. I know Sister Felicia is not faithful in that aspect. So I simply filled the vacuum in that aspect. What happened last night has always been my dream and mission. I am happy I achieved it at last. What do you mean? What I mean is that, I love you, and I want to be closer to you. No way, I love my wife, you cannot destroy my home. You will have to corporate with me, if actually you love your home. All I want is you and nothing more. You lie, you cannot have me, Sister Melody, you cannot have me in Jesus name. Deacon, don't forget we were together last night on your matrimonial bed. You can imagine what will happen if your wife hear about this. Why do you want to destroy my home? Okay, let's assume what happened last night was a mistake, it never happened. I thought everything will end there, and I asked God to forgive me. But since then, she has been asking me to have a relationship with her. She is always telling me how lonely she is, and that she can't do anything without me. My wife is ignorant of this issue, because this woman still comes regularly to our house and pretend as if nothing happened between us. What are you going to do now? My sister, I sincerely don't know, I am tired. Raffle, you have to tell your wife. Shish can't bear it, it will be too much for her. But this woman will continue to put you in her bondage, and she will eventually fuel her mission. What do you mean? What is her mission? Your home, to get rid of your wife and have you for herself. But she is married. But she said she has no husband. We are still praying that God restores her husband. Raffle, wake up. This woman is more than who you think she is. You need unity with your wife to fight this battle. Your home is in danger, you need to come together and save your home. 
All along I though it was a mistake, that it was loneliness that pushed us into the act. The Bible says, Godly sorrow brings repentance, when this thing happened between you both, you were sad and fearful. But what about her? Was she sad? Was she ready to repent? No, she was just smiling. That was enough evidence to show that this woman really understood what she was doing. She literally came into your house to seduce you into the act. What should I do now? You have to pray before informing your wife, because she is also under the influence of that woman. You have to join me in prayers over this issue, I still don't know how to handle the situation. The Lord is in charge, but you must be ready to inform your wife, to silence the devil. Dear, thanks for picking me up. It's a pity I missed Auntie Grace. But I'm happy she was here to keep you company. How was the seminar? It was fine, only that we were given a very short time. Let me go into the kitchen and quickly prepare something for us to eat. Two weeks later. Hello, Auntie Grace. Hi Raffle, how are you? I'm fine, thanks for the other day Ma. Thank God, and how is the case of that woman? Have you informed your wife? Auntie, it's not easy, I don't want to break her heart. Raffle, don't joke with this matter, you better move fast before this people have their way. Your wife is ignorantly working in serious danger, and you need to help her. Auntie, it is not that easy, telling her will compound the problem. I have prayed, and I know God has forgiven me. But you still need to confess to your wife for final deliverance, and to break the power of this evil people. And I want to invite you to a program, will you be able to come? Why not? but you will have to inform my wife about it yourself. You have to be there too, because the program is for married couples, but at different time. Okay, but we have to track my wife down, because she is usually busy. No problem, I will put a call through to her now. Dear, will you be able to attend the program Auntie Grace invited us to? I should. I think we should take time to be there, since it's just a day program. Well. I hope you remember I will gave to go ahead of you, because our own program starts first. Yes, you are right, I will arrange for one of the drivers in my office to take you there. Then you can wait for me in Auntie Grace's house till we finish our own program. Okay, that will be nice, I know she will be very happy. After the program. Andy thanks for inviting us to this wonderful and impactful program. I've never had the issue of marriage like this before. We thank God. The man of God really some the mind of God. I have a feeling that something is wrong with my home. I'm happy you notice that, Felicia, you see, God gave us our homes to keep, to protect and to build for him. Auntie, the situation has really gone bad. We argue about almost everything. I can't even remember the last time my husband touched me. And it is my fault, because my husband complained about it severally. It is not too late. Go back to God in prayer and commit your home to Him. Please subscribe to this channel. Dear, what happened? Are you not going to sleep? You are even crying. What's the matter? Talk to me. Is it your place of work? Or have I offended you? Felicia, you have not offended me and my work is intact. Then what is it? I will tell you everything, but I beg you to please forgive me. What have you done to me? Dear, the Bible tells me that if I cover my sins, I will not prosper. But because I want to prosper, I will confess my sin before you. I have sinned against God and you. It's okay. God is a merciful God. He will forgive you, and I promise to forgive you too. Just tell me what happened. Sometimes ago, when you traveled on an official trip, Sister Melody came here to give me food. I don't know what came over me that day, but I ended up in bed with her. Oh my God. Raffle, what have you done? I thought that would be all, but since then, she has been coming to me to come to her house to satisfy her lustful desire, to which I strongly refused. I told he I could not continue in the sinful act with her, since I didn't even know why I fell so cheap to at the very first time. Raffle, you have finished me. I'm deeply sorry, please forgive me. Dear, I know I have hurt you badly with what I did, but please, forgive me. Why didn't you tell me all this while? I have moved far with this woman, I have placed my life in her hands. That is why I have always avoided her, and I have been trying to persuade you against her coming to this house. I never knew she was close to me to strike me, I never knew she had another motive apart from helping me. Please forgive me. It was my fault, 
I wasn't wise enough, so the enemy came into my house and struck. I'm sorry. It's very painful, but I don't have any other option than to forgive you. Dear, from the depth of my heart, I forgive you. Thank you very much for forgiving me, I have cried and prayed to God severally, but he insisted that I confess to you. Thank you so much for forgiving me. We thank God, we need to rededicate our lives to God and to ask for his mercy. Thank you, let us pray. The next morning. Good morning sister Melody. Good morning deacon, your wife is not around right? Good, very good, you think you are wise, you think you can use me once and dump me. You are joking, in fact, the relationship has just started, or be ready to face the consequences. Sister Melody, I thought you are a child of God, why are you allowing yourself to be used by the devil? Why do you delight in breaking other people's home? I did not come for any story, at all. You know what will happen if your wife should get to know of this. But Sister Melody, it's too late now. What is too late? You think you can deny what you have already tasted, no. What we did was a sin against God and our spouses. But the Lord has forgiven me. You also need to go to God in repentance, so that he can forgive you. Instead of you to allow the devil to continue using you. I don't have a husband and you know it. But we are praying, God will bring back your husband. Deacon, I said my husband is gone and gone for good. Deacon, I need you now, you can't deny me now. I love you, I need you now. You lie, you can't have him, he already belonged to someone else. M. Sister Felicia, I thought, I I didn't know, actually, I was just trying to. You thought I had gone to work, yes, I ought to have been in the office by now, but the Lord delayed me till this time to watch the drama you have just performed. Sister Melody, I thought you were a child of God, why are you interested in breaking other people's home, while we at busy praying for yours? Sister Felicia, your husband slept with me on your matrimonial bed, he seduced me and slept with me when you were not around. And with your full corporation I suppose, look Sister Melody, my husband has told me everything that happened. We has even gone to the pastor to explain to him, I have forgiven my husband and God has forgiven him too. You don't understand what happened. And I don't want to, now get out of my house. We have realized our mistakes and carelessness. You go, and ask for mercy. God is a merciful God. No, your husband cannot escape this, he is mine. It's a lie, my husband is no longer your prey. Let me tell you, God has broken your spell on this family. You are joking, I mean, the two of you are joking, the battle line is drawn. I don't think you know who you are dealing with. The battle is the Lord's, not ours. For the Bible says, the Lord will fight for us and we shall hold our peace. And the scripture equally says, if God be for us, who can be against us? We are on the Lord's side, no weapon that is formed against us shall prosper, and every tongue that rises against us shall be condemned. Look, your husband cannot escape this, he touched me and both of you will pay for it. Get out of my house. Dear, this is terrible, thank God you are still around. She wasn't expecting me to be at home by now. I didn't even know what I was doing inside, despite the fact that time was going, something just kept me inside. It must be God. Her countenance changed from the sister melody that we used to know. God exposed her, her true nature was revealed, she couldn't hide it. But, I think we need serious prayer now. Exactly, I hope you are not afraid. Of course not. The battle is the Lord's, not ours. Let's go to work. My queen, I was humiliated, they insulted me. I had the feeling from the beginning that this project will not work, with the way you handled it. My queen, I tried my best. Yes, you tried your best, but you were too slow in carrying out the second operation, you thought you had enough time. My queen, I didn't know she will wake up from her slumber, I didn't know. She should have been dead by now if you had listened to my advice, you have forgotten, that their lord is always quick to listen to their cry. What do I do now, because I can't leave them, I have to strike back. It is risky, and it would be so disastrous to do anything, look at them, can't you see that they are heavily protected? I suggest you leave them. No, I can't leave them, I need to strike back fast. 
My advice is for you to go into the congregation, there are so many couples that are sleeping spiritually, pick one of them and forget about this one. However, I will advise that you do not make the same mistake that you made on these ones. Sister Melody could not accept defeat, she tried striking Deacon and his wife, but it backfired. Fortunately for her, the pastor prayed for her and she repented. Thank you pastor for praying for me. You don't have to thank me, I'm glad you have repented. But I will like to know everything about your past life, I mean, how did you end up in that condition that I met you? We were commissioned to attack the homes of God's children, causing separation, divorce, and turning the hearts of children against the gods of their parents. But how do you achieve all these? Very simple, we struggle to make them break their marriage covenant by causing separation in their heart. The wives won't allow their husbands gain access to their body and they won't even know why they are doing that. Once they cannot mend this, we gain access to their lives and homes. The kingdom of darkness is also interested in harvesting souls, so many couples in the church are already in bondage. Their uniform attire is just a camouflage. The Lord who delivered Mr. Raffle and his wife will also deliver them. Amen. Thanks for watching. Drop your comments in the comment section. Like, share and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to be notified when another video is being posted.